How's everyone doing? It's your boy Speakwell and we are back with the finals of our NBA 2K20 duo tournament where we find out what the best duo is inside of NBA 2K20. If you guys actually missed out on part number one, I'll leave it linked in the description below. We actually went through the first round here and in this video we're going to be picking up where we left off and actually finishing this tournament all the way through the finals. It's going to be played the same as in the first round. Each game is going to be going to 11 points. It's going to be CPU simulated played on superstar difficulty and then the finals is actually going to be a best of three but starting off in the second round we got lebron james and anthony davis facing off against donovan mitchell and rudy gobert so the start of this game actually glitched out uh the start of the recording did not save but we're hopping in here all tied up between the lakers and jazz duo lebron inside to take the lead donovan mitchell dunking over ad gobert with a nice spin move to tie or to give the Jazz the lead, but then LeBron over Donovan Mitchell. Lakers get the ball back again. Nice screen by LeBron and AD with the easy dunk. AD again with the ball fading for the perfect release. And LeBron also has his playmaking badge now. Anthony Davis with another easy layup inside. Donovan Mitchell, the tough shot. It is no good. LeBron from two, and he hits the shot to take a four-point lead. Donovan Mitchell over LeBron on the next possession and then again Donovan Mitchell inside they're trying to come back here but LeBron over both Jazz players it's game point getting inside again and LeBron dunking for the win checking out the Jazz Donovan Mitchell dropping six points Rudy Gobert only had a one point this game and then checking out the Lakers LeBron James dropping eight and AD had three for our next match we got James Harden and Russell Westbrook facing off against Stephen Curry and Clay Tom Steph and Clay starting off right here with the first bucket of the game taking a 1-0 lead Westbrook inside though coming right back at them Harden on the next possession gets another bucket and then Westbrook with a big dunk blowing by Stephen Curry Clay in the post. I mean, he's pretty good in this game in the post Curry Tying up the game Westbrook again blowing by Stephen Curry Curry cannot guard him Clay Thompson Tying the game again Westbrook with nice little euro there Curry now right back at him inside misses but gets his own board and again We got a tie game a big block by Stephen Curry Harden getting the ball back and the Rockets do it, taking the league 360 nutmeg for Westbrook and the perfect release. And he gets the ball again and a steal for Westbrook, giving them a five-point lead. Curry, though, with a little Euro reverse right there. Then the floater trying to get his team back in this. But Westbrook with his takeover badge cannot be stopped. Game point. Harden getting inside. Pump fake and... He gets the game-winning bucket right there. So the Rockets duo going to win this one. Westbrook putting up eight points. Harden with three. And Harden actually did not miss at all that game. And then checking out the Warriors duo. Curry with four points. And Klay Thompson only had three points. Uh, two turnovers for them as well. Next up, we got Kawhi Leonard and Paul George facing off against Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. Of course, the Clippers duo starting with the ball. Kawhi inside for the perfect release then Jokic coming back at them Jokic is a huge threat just because of his height advantage over everybody else but Kawhi Leonard inside taking a two-point lead and the steal by Paul George and the perfect release Paul George again inside a super tough layup somehow hits it and then Kawhi with the perfect release Kawhi again inside misses but gets his own board they have a seven one lead Jokic inside blocked by Paul George who also gets his takeover badge now Kawhi on offense with another bucket nice screen there by Paul George and Kawhi with the layup both of these players with their takeover badge and Kawhi gonna end it right there just complete domination by the Clippers Jokic only getting one bucket and then Kawhi Leonard putting up eight points. Paul George with three points. They only had one missed shot. Next up, we got Kemba Walker and Jason Tatum facing off against Blake Griffin and Andre Drummond. Huge height advantage here for the Pistons duo. Blake Griffin getting inside quite easily on the first possession. Again, a nice little spin move there. Take a 2-0 lead. Andre Drummond in the post now. 
and they're up three to one to start off this game blake griffin another perfect release but now jason tatum inside for a big dunk blake griffin coming right back at him dunking over tatum there kemba tough layup good d there somehow gets that and then the nice dish to andre drummond for the easy dunk kemba coming back at them trying to get the team back in this but they cannot stop blake and drummond down low kemba for two though and that is good to go bringing the game within one blake griffin inside and both the pistons do have their takeover badge andre drummond with a crazy putback slam now jason tatum hitting an almost 100 percent contested shot and he gets a steal to kemba who hits the shot they still have a chance at coming back here but blake griffin inside for the layup kemba walker the tough layup game point blake griffin with the ball inside and he ends it right there a super close game right there, but the Pistons come out on top. Kemba Walker dropping six points, whereas Jason Tatum had three. And then Blake Griffin this game had seven points, and Andre Drummond had four. The mismatches. Moving on to the semifinals now, we got LeBron James and Anthony Davis facing off against James Harden and Russell Westbrook. Both these duos are brand new duos, which is pretty interesting. Harden with a steal, blocked by AD, gets the ball back and puts up the first points of the game. LeBron James inside now. The Lakers duo with a big height advantage right here, but we've seen James Harden and Russell Westbrook beat other players bigger than them earlier in the tournament. Westbrook inside for the dunk, tying the game. LeBron, the nice, the nice fancy pass to AD. And now Westbrook in the side. Good D, but somehow gets separation there. And then Harden getting the perfect release from Westbrook. Steal AD in the post, though. Not much they can do about that. Again, Anthony Davis in the post, taking that one-point lead for the Lakers. Harden spinning, fading away, and he hits it, tying up the game. Harden, his signature step back to take the two-point lead. And now LeBron inside that's no good but ad getting the board and dunking on harden now westbrook with the ball again his team does have the lead and he wants to keep it that way lebron inside the lob to ad who now has his takeover badge westbrook spinning inside with a nice bucket there they need two more to win this ad inside misses but gets his own board now Harden with the ball getting around LeBron for the big dunk. They're at game point. One more and the Rockets win this game. But LeBron getting inside. Nice little spin move. Harden with the ball getting inside and dunking over Anthony Davis for the win. A big upset by the Rockets here. Harden dropping seven points and Westbrook had four Whereas checking out the Lakers duo, Anthony Davis with seven points and LeBron only with two. And despite having a huge height advantage, they lose. Moving over to the other side of our bracket for the semifinals, we got Paul George and Kawhi Leonard facing off against Andre Drummond and Blake Griffin. Clippers duo with the overall advantage, but the Pistons duo with a huge height advantage here. Blake Griffin inside 100% smothered, but still hits this shot. Almost a steal there by Kawhi Leonard but Andre Drummond dunking on him and then Kawhi blows by him for the easy dunk big speed advantage for the Clippers duo here again Kawhi inside for the dunk now we got Blake Griffin in the post Kawhi with the steal and perfect release here's Andre though not much they can do when they get in the post and the lob from Blake to Andre nice screen here by Paul George and the tough layup by Kawhi a big block by Andre Drummond and then he gets the dunk to tie the game all up he also has his takeover badge but Paul George popping it right when he gets that ball taking the two-point lead Kawhi inside for the tough layup and a steal by Paul George they now have a four-point lead both of these guys with their takeover badge both defensive but another lob from Blake to Andre now we got Kawhi dunking over Blake Griffin game point, Paul George spinning inside, misses the shot, but gets his own board and the winning layup right there. Clippers duo 
winning this one. Andre Drummond with five points, but she shot one for nine. <laughs> Not shooting good at all. And then checking out the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard putting up seven points, Paul George putting up four. They didn't shoot the best percentage, but they still ended up getting the W. So we have our two final duos in this competition. We got Russell Westbrook and James Harden rated at an average of 93 overall facing off against Paul George and Kawhi Leonard rated at an average of 95 overall. And for the finals, you do have to win a best of three. So you need two wins to actually take home the championship. But hopping into the first game here, Kawhi, Paul George gonna start off with the ball since they do have the higher overall. And Kawhi, a nice dunk to start off the game. Westbrook trying to get inside and he does. Tying up the game at one point. Kawhi now in the post inside the perfect release. Taking a 2-1 lead. Paul George getting around James Harden for the easy the dunk. And then the Clippers with the ball again. Paul George with another bucket. They're starting to take over this game. Almost a steal by Paul George, but Harden couldn't get the layup inside right there. Paul George with Westbrook right on him. Doesn't matter. Still hits that bucket. And a nice dish to Harden inside from Westbrook. Now Westbrook to Harden on the two-point line. He's going to get that to go. Tie the game all up at five. Kawhi now giving the Clippers the league. And Harden the spinning nutmeg. That's a crazy move. I kind of like that move, how they added it into the game. Clippers taking a one-point lead. Paul George inside again, though, to take a two-point lead. You do need to win by two, so it is huge to get those leads. And now Paul George with his takeover batch. Harden almost hitting the two. But Westbrook with the rebound and second chance points. Kawhi inside for the dunk there at game point. Not, not looking good for the Rockets duo, but Westbrook with a big dunk inside. Now Kawhi with the ball blowing by everybody for the layup, for the win. And the Clippers are going to take the first game to take a 1-0 lead in this series. Harden dropping five points. Westbrook only with three that game. And then checking out the Clippers duo. Paul George dropping six and Kawhi with five. Uh, so they did pretty evenly there in terms of... Heading into game two now. The Clippers can win it here if they win this game. A big block by Paul George to start it off. And then Paul George in the side for the tough layup. Giving the Clippers the early lead. Kawhi again inside. A 2-0 lead now for the Clippers duo. Harden with the nutmeg. And he hits the shot. Almost blocked right there. And then Kawhi with a perfect release now. Again, the Clippers duo with the ball. Paul George inside for a big dunk. Westbrook step back. And that's no good. Harden with the board though. And now Kawhi back inside, getting another layup. They have a three-point lead. And Paul George with a huge nutmeg and dunk to take a four-point lead. Westbrook right back at him, though, with the dunk. Now back over to Paul George. Nice little layup there. He has his takeover badge. Paul George has getting, been getting that so many, so many times in this competition. Paul George inside. That was weird. He just kind of ran at him for the tough. A layup still hits it. Kawhi. This duo only needs two more points to win it. Kawhi Leonard. The mid-range shot is good to go. Game point now. Kawhi Leonard with the ball. Coming inside. Spinning for the win. And the bucket is good. And the LA Clippers duo are going to be our best duo in NBA 2K20. James Harden only dropping three points. And Westbrook only with one shooting one for six in that final game. And they needed that to stay in this. But our winners, Kawhi Leonard with six points. Paul George with five. So in NBA 2K20, it looks like Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are your two best duos in the game. But the interesting thing about this tournament was it was all new duos that actually ended up doing the best. I mean, the Rockets, Lakers, and Clippers duo all making the semifinals are all new duos we've never seen before. So it's going to be exciting to see all these guys in the new NBA season. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure that you do smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you stay subscribed and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss out when I upload. This has been your boy, Smickle, but I'll see you next time. Peace.
got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the